Good morning. It is now approximately um, 1.37, almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I have came on in the morning. I really need to get some rest, but I'm really excited. I know I need to blog. I just wanted to, again, thank everybody for the continued support and prayers because guess what? The prayers are working. I wanted to read one thing, a couple things from my, um, I have the CT report. I know everyone got the Facebook post, but I told you that my tumors are shrinking but they are absolutely shrinking and one is no longer there um it says a previously seen soft tissue mass between the left pectoralis major and minor muscle superior to the left breast implant is no longer identified which means it's no longer there the one that was right here like i told you guys i can't feel it they can't see it on the scans anymore it's gone there's several nodes that have decreased i'll read you just a couple one says there is my left auxiliary node um, have decreased in size, in size, excuse me. It now measures at 1.5 centimeters times 1.4 and previously was at 3.5 centimeters times 2.8. There's another one that now measures at 0, 0.5 times 0 0.3 and it previously measured at 2.3 times 1.3. Okay, there's one that now measures at 1.2 times 0 0.9, which was at 1.1 times 0 0.9. So these nodes are decreasing and there is no suspicious um, osteolytic and osteoblastic osseous lesions are identified. Abdomen, pelvis, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, spleen, Adrenaline glands, kidneys are all normal. Thank you, Jesus. As my sister says, I'm a living, walking miracle. And what I want to point out is, uh, this is round four of the chemo. I all and I said, if you can remember, and pre this is the report, so you guys don't think I'm crazy. See the report? I know it's kind of hard to look at, but I'm gonna try to put the camera on the report. This is ridiculous. If you can see it, okay. Try to read that there. Okay, so we know that that is the actual report. I said that after my third chemo, I was going to get a CT scan. And if the results were not to my liking, where the tumors have multiplied or increased or spread at other places, I was going to stop my chemo. Well, I'm starting chemo. I'm doing chemo tomorrow, so the CT scans were great. I'm continuing chemo. Now, I did have some hard questions from my doctor that I want to report to everyone. So we can all understand this. And my sister pointed out to me this. I'm lucky. I'm, no, I'm blessed. I am incredibly blessed because I have churches, my own church, my own pastor, um, and his wife praying for me all the time and just really um, making it known that I'm in their prayers, I'm in their thoughts, and announcing it and talking about it in front of the church Sunday. That is awesome. My sister church... I go there, they pray for me awesome. My other sister's church that lives in Kansas City, people are praying for me all over the state, all over the world, all over Illinois, Missouri, Kansas City. She, I mean, you name it, I've got people because Facebook is big. And I know that a lot of friends from college that I post a lot of my stuff on. So I have a big, 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 big support system. And I am so incredibly blessed that I have that support system and that plus the clinical trial which is the Viliprib Viliprib starts with a V I think I'm pronouncing it correct um, combined with my chemo are shrinking these tumors which is buying me more time here um, I had some hard questions for my doctor I asked my doctor you know unfortunately my cancer is treatable but it's not curable so according to the doctor, the chemo will eventually stop working and the cancer will sp spread and it will be my demise. It will be my demise. That's what the doctor said on Tuesday when I went and saw her May 26th. I'm sorry, May 27th. I asked her about prognosis questions, which is really uncomfortable for the doctor, but she has to answer them in a way that a doctor would answer them. And she told me, Without chemo, I had months to live. With chemo, I have months to years. We don't have many. We don't know how many years. She cannot put a number on the years, but I don't want to put a timestamp on me. 
There's no time stamp on me. I'm letting God, you know, figure out that part. You know, I'm just going to enjoy my life, um, enjoy the time I've had with my family. I did, I have to admit, I blogged before this blog, but I deleted it because it was so incredibly sad. And since everybody's always like, oh my God, your blogs are so sad, blah, 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 blah. I deleted it. So I try to be positive to everyone else. Sometimes I am sad. Sometimes I will go ahead and just blog what's on my mind. It was the day, um, it was the morning after I dropped my daughter off. And I'm usually a a mess, an emotional mess when I drop her off. Because it hurts like a knife. And I hate it to the 100,000th power. Um, I would just have to say that I'm just so grateful for my family for my aunts Candy and Lynn and Lisa and Herlin and Sheila um, and my aunt Sandra and my cousin Frida who sends me a card almost every couple of weeks with a little piece of money in it every week so thank you Alfreda because it's always right on time she sends me a card and she says and it's just you know something whatever she can afford and she says if I was rich she always says if I were rich she would be rich and she's just and the cards are always so beautiful and it's they're always right on time and they're constant I can't be thankful enough for that I'm just so thankful for my sister Gina for who took care of me that last time who's allowed me to live in her house and um, have my son here my daughter here anytime and just I just have so many people to be thankful for. I'm thankful for my father, who is just, he's off dialysis. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm thankful for my sisters, Tina, and my sister, Tanya. Tina, even though she lives in Kansas City, she's always constantly sending me text messages and calling me on the phone and mailing me cards and sending me things in the mail. And Tanya's always there when I need her for a ride. If I ask her to pick me up for doctor or drop Moses off or do something for me she's always there and my cousin Corey who's going with me to chemo tomorrow my cousins are always there for me um my aunt Lisa my aunt Herlin my aunt Sheila everybody my cousin Siobhan everybody is just there for me and I'm so blessed my my friends in Chicago call me all the time to check on me and I'm blessed about I'm just blessed I um I still have a little bit of a cold the doctor says it's probably a virus because it lasted so long. I'm gonna I'm on some antibiotics now. Um, my white cells were up to eight hundred, which is really good. So I'm good on that. Um, I'm just blessed, and I thank you, and I thank God. I thank God for my son and my daughter who are continue to be strong. You know, sometimes when it's hard, um, and I know they are, and. I don't want to cry. I'm, I'm happy and sad at the same time, if that makes sense. I'm happy because, yeah, I'm I'm a miracle. My stuff is shrinking. But I'm sad because I have cancer and I don't have any hair. And my life is like never going to not have cancer. This is going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have to deal with this situation. And it saddens me that I just going to have to, oh, I mean, for the rest of my life, however long that will be. I'm going to be fighting this cancer. But I have so much support to help me in this fight that I don't mind it at all. Oh, I forgot to mention I was able to see my brother, and I love him too, and his wife and his family. I mean, it's it's just sad. I don't, I, no one should have to go through cancer, but whatever, I'm going through it. And I'm going to get through it. Um, So, I don't feel too well. And it's getting late. And I got chemo in the morning. I just wanted to say thanks so much again. I love everybody. I love you all for everything. And um, let's get ready for this round four. And shrink the rest of these tumors. Because there's some of tumors that I will have to say. I do have some tumors that did not change in size, but we're not going to worry about that, but there are a couple of them that did not change, and I have tumors in my neck is where they're at. I have what they call nodes, I guess, or lymph nodes here, and um, some areas in my neck that are cancerous. Um, 
that are still there, but they're small. But whatever. And the bones, we did not do a PET scan. So my doctor says um, because the other tumors are shrinking, that most likely the bones are shrinking. But I will get a PET scan. Um, after three more rounds of chemo, I'll get another CT scan and then a PET scan. And then we can see what's going on with my bones. Um, but she did say that um, most likely that everything was shrinking with the bones as well. Because remember, I have um, a lesion in my left leg and some lesions on my rib, um, on my rib cage and on my lower back, which is kind of a lot. Think about it, man. Oh, let's not think about it. Let's just think about it, Haley. I love you guys. It's getting late. I'll see you till next time. I promise I'm going to try to blog more. But here's the thing. Let me tell you why I don't blog as often. Because it's not that I'm always sad. And I'm not. I'm not sad. But what I want to blog about is real stuff. And it's sad. Not that I'm sad. But the stuff that I blog about is sad. And I'm, I'm more afraid that you guys are going to be sad. And I don't want to make everybody else sad. But you know what? I'm just going to start blogging what's ever on my mind and my heart. I'm going to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still getting over this cold. Thank you, guys. And I will see you um, soon. I love you. Bye.